Hi everyone. Today we are going to see the topic is liquid penetrant test. In short form, it calls LPT. The definition is to detect discontinuity open to the surface of the non-porous metal and material. The liquid penetrant test carried out only the non-porous metal and materials. The use of LPT is to find the cracks, seams, porosity and pinholes. When the welding process or any special operation which carried out on the surface of the metal, the defects which may occur, cracks, seams, porosity and pinhole. The principle of liquid penetrant test is the capillary action due to intermolecular attraction. Here this is a metal, non-porous metal or material. This red color is a penetrant. This is the defect like a crack. When the penetrant is applied on the surface of the metal, the penetrant which penetrates inside the crack area. The sensitivity of the LPT is up to 3 mm. Up to 3 mm it can be fined by liquid penetrant testing method. In this process, the penetrant which penetrates inside the holes or defects if any occurs. In Suppose we have to take the porous metal or porous material, the penetrant which uh, penetrate inside the porous. So we cannot find the defect accurately. So in this method only uses in non-porous metal and materials. Now we are going to see the step by step process of liquid penetrant test. The main three major ingredients which used to carry out the liquid penetrant test. One is pre-cleaner, another one is penetrant and then developer. The three main chemicals which used to carry the liquid penetrant test. The first test is, first step is visual test. First we have to check after the welding process carried out, we have to check by our naked eyes. The temperature of the welded metal should be 5 degrees Celsius into 50 deg 52 degrees Celsius. Then only we have to continue the LPT testing methods. When the temperature which, which exceeds from this level, we cannot use three chemicals. Depending on the temperature variation, the properties of the chemicals can be varied. So we have to check within the temperature limit of 5 degrees Celsius into uh, 52 degrees Celsius. Then the next process is pre-cleaning process. Pre-cleaning process is the major process to pre-clean the surface of the metal which is going to be carried out the liquid penetrant test. The proper pre-cleaning only we can find the defects accurately. Then the next step is apply penetrant. Penetrant which is going to be applied on the surface of the metal which is going to be checked. After applying the penetrant, we have to restrict for 3 to 5 minutes. The time is called dwell time. Without any disturbing after applying the penetrant, we have to keep it for 3 to 5 minutes. At the time, the capillary action which takes place. The capillary action is nothing but the penetrant which penetrates inside the metal by the porous or holes. Next step is removal of excess penetrant. After the dwell time is 3 to 5 minutes is completed, we have to remove the excess penetrant on the surface of the metal. The removal of excess penetrant by the cloth removal, uh, there are many types. After the dwell time, we have to remove the excess of penetrant. Then we have to apply the developers. Developers should be should be in white or a light color to visible find uh, defects easily. After applying the developer, it should be rest for seven to ten minutes. The time is a developing time. In that particular time, the reverse capillary action which takes place. In reverse capillary action, the penetrated 
Pilot rank should be reversed on the developer. So the developer color is white and the pilot rank color is pink or red. The defects can be identified as the red color mark on the white surface. Then the next is inspection. Inspection process we have to find if any defects which are denoted. Then the indication carried out and interpretation. Evaluation. We have to evaluate uh, the measurement of the crack or some defects which uh, identified. Then we have to prepare a report uh, for a testing carried out. Then the final step is post cleaning. Post cleaning is most important to clean the metal after the LPT process which carried out. In this post cleaning process, we have to remove all the excess of penetrant developers which is on the surface of the inspector metal. If the post cleaning process which cannot carried out, it may affect for the next uh, operation of the process. So we have to uh, post clean the inspected metals surely. The advantage of the liquid penetrant test is this testing process is carried on both metal and non-metal. Also ferrous and non-ferrous materials. Disadvantage is this process which cannot carry on the porous metal and porous material because due to the capillary action the defects which cannot be fine accurately. So we cannot use in porous metal the liquid penetrant test process. Only we have to find the defects on the surface level, open, surf, open pass specimen only we have to find. Also the post, post cleaning process is needed. The post cleaning process which more times takes. Pre cleaning is the first process of liquid penetrant test. Pre cleaning is a process to pre clean a metal which is going to liquid penetrant test. Due to the pre-cleaning process only, we have to detect the defects which accurately after the pre-cleaning process carried out. First step is pre-cleaning process. Depending on the cleaning process, it may classified into seven types. First, solvent cleaning. In this method, we have to remove dirt, dust and scale impurities. The second acid cleaning method we have to remove thick scales and impurities. Etching cleaning, a machining components and grinding bowls which can be cleaned by etching cleaning process. In detection cleaning we have to uh, remove dust and dirt impurities. In detection cleaning the detergent is used to clean the surface of the metal. In steam cleaning the steam is used to clean the Dust impurities in big articles. Ultrasonic cleaning. The ultrasonic cleaning is the um, sensitive method which is used to remove the small articles. It is the high cleaning efficiency and decrease the cleaning time. The seventh one is vapor degreasing. In this method, we have to remove the oil and grease dust impurities. Next is penetrant. Penetrants which are chemically colored dye. The penetrants which are available in black, brown, pink and red color. Because this color only which gets highlighted to find defects easily. The penetrants which are used to find the surface level discontinuities. The penetrant should be easy to penetrate and it should not evaporate easily. The penetrant should be odorless and non-toxic. It should be low cost and easily available. There are three types of penetrant which are available based on that application. The one is visible dye penetrant. The visible dye penetrant which is visible to a human eye the fluorescent dye penetrant which is only visible at the fluorescent lamp. The dual sensitivity dye it is used to uh, for uh, visual, visual and fluorescent. Next 
the removal of penetrant three types of removal of penetrants which are solvent removal dye penetrant water washable dye penetrant and post emulsifier dye penetrant next the capillary action what is capillary action when the beaker is contains a water we have to put a straw inside a water the water level which gets up inside the straw which makes a contact angle due to intermolecular attraction this process is called capillary action this capillary action which depends on the surface tension viscosity contact angle and density density is mass by volume depending on the four factors the capillary action which depends next the penetrant apply method the penetrant is applied by the following methods first is spray by using the spray bottle or sprayer we have to apply the penetrant which on the surface of the metal is going to be uh, uh, carry the lpt test the second is brushing the penetrant which applied by the brush brush on the surface of the metal then the third is immersion immersion is a uh, dipping a metal component which on in which inside the penetrant for fake is pouring by pouring the penetrant on the surface of the metal next dwell time dwell time is a time which is to penetrate the penetrant inside the metal or material the minimum time to penetrate is 5 minutes to 7 minutes and the maximum time takes to penetrate is 10 minutes to 30 minutes at the time of penetration process the capillary action which takes place next is developer take out the penetrant from discontinuities by the reverse capillary action in which developing time the developer is applied to uh, absorb the penetrant which already applied and which absorbed inside the defects the developers which may classified into two types one is dry and another one is wet dry developer which are mostly in the form of powder form and the wet developer which may classified into two types one is aqueous and one is not another is non aqueous aqueous which are soluble in water non aqueous is suspended in solvents apply mode the developers which are which are applied on the surface of the metal by spray method brushing method immersion and blowing by spraying method we are using the sprayers and spray guns brushing method by taking uh, the developer which takes by brush and apply the surface of the metal immersion and blowing we have to blow the penetrant on the surface the developing time which is 1.5 times of the penetrant time the developing times mostly 7 to 10 minutes in this timing period the reverse capillary action which carried out and the defects which may display at the uh, surface of the metal in this process we have to see the cracks or defects if any occurs at the surface of the metal next is indication indication which may classified into two types one is linear indication and another one is rounded indication when the defect is founded the length of the defect which greater than or equal to 3 times of the width of the defect is linear indication it may be straight line or curve and the second one is a rounded indication which is the length of the defect is less than or equal to 3 times of the width it may visible like a circle or elliptical shape the examples of a linear indication which may heat treatment crack fatigue and machine crack the rounded indication examples are porosity cold shed seams and pinholes which are mostly in rounded format post cleaning is the final stage of the liquid penetrant testing process after the inspection of 
liquid penetrant test the test specimen is should be clean for the next process so far we have seen the liquid penetrant test the classes may be useful to you please kindly support for my channel thank you